This is a demonstration of the back stitch. It is done on piece number two of your sampler. The back stitch got its name because the stitches are sewn forwards as well as backwards. On the face, the stitches will butt or kiss each other to form what looks like a continuous line. On the reverse or the back, the stitches will overlap. Use a single strand of thread and not the end. Start by making three guideline dots a quarter inch apart. Start on the middle mark, pushing your needle through from the reverse to the face, holding your tail. The next stitch will be backwards. Push your needle through to the reverse side on the dot closest to the end and take a half inch stitch underneath coming up through your first mark. To create the appearance of a continuous line, your next stitch is going to be backwards through the middle mark or dot number two. The needle is going to pass a half inch under the fabric and it is going to come up a quarter inch past mark number one. Now you can see the line forming. Repeat the stitch pattern. Take a back stitch. Travel one half inch forward under the fabric. Exiting one quarter inch past where the thread came out. Continue down the guideline until you reach the end of the fabric. Be sure to check the reverse side to make sure that you don't have any knots and that the tension is even. This stitch is more time consuming than most because it is like sewing two stitches at once. When you get to the end of your guideline, it is time to knot the thread. Take a prick pick in place, pulling your needle through the loop of your thread. Cut the end and you are all done. I'm going to check the reverse side. It looks like my tension was off and I have a thread loop. This is why it's good to check your work often. This ensures you can catch mistakes before they happen.